Yo, what up? It's me, DJ Hernandez, DJ Grumpy. DJ Grumpy for YouTube, DJ Hernandez for everybody uh, over here in San Diego. Uh, well, I just barely got time right now to do a little demonstration how to hook up my DP2 to Virtual DJ. Um, yes, it is original. The only thing is um, crack or something like that. Like, nah, I got it original. Uh, so you just open it up. Uh, damn. I was testing it earlier, see? It's actually the new one as well. Um, yes, yeah, so. See, I got my external right there. Yep, it's all my DVDs right there. Fuck it. Um, so. This is what you gonna, you gotta do. In case you got the DP2. Um, see, I got a mixer. It's actually a four channel mixer. Uh, see, on the DP2, I got it in three and four. Channel three and four. This is three right here, four right here, and, and one and two. It's actually my CD players. So let me test it out and show you how. So this this is one. It's a CD right here. I can't turn it up because I had to keep it low. And um, so yeah, so that's actually two legal one. Let me show you a number channel two. So channel two, the CD player is actually uh, is right here, and I can, I could fade it out and do pretty much the same thing. I could, I got the headphones with me, so it's all good. And what I like about this mixer is because you know when the sound when the song doesn't sound good or whatever. Um, see, I don't know if you can hear the difference. Once I click the wow, it gives more, it gives a little more sound on it. Yeah, so true bass, yeah, is the bass. And the 3D set is actually sounds pretty good, but um, I got some neighbors that I hate on, I hate on them. Actually, they hate on me, so it's all good. Fuck it, let me turn it up. No, nah, no, never mind. Manager already came up to me, so telling me, "Oh, turn it down." The neighbors are complaining this and that. I'm like, "All right, whatever." So, okay, how to hook up the DB2 and the Persia DJ? See, there was actually a guy on YouTube that he hooked it up, but um, he actually made the ear for earphones, you know, jack or whatever. As a master, he hook it up a master and you know so you can try to mix it in the USB um, yeah for the DP2 and this is actually with my external hard drive is all my music right there but I got something wrong with it I got like three other more and they they're all 500 gig gigabytes so okay now I already almost almost four minutes okay. So you just go to config, you know, it's all blurry too. So yeah, first you gotta you gotta turn it on, hook it up to the to the computer, and um, then you gotta uh, log into the virtual DJ. So this is what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta sound setup. Damn, it's all blurry too. Oh well. And on the top, you gotta click on none. Like inputs, it's gonna be none. And outputs, you're gonna click on the external uh, mixer. Well, that's the way I did it. There was another person that told me to do it on headphones or three like mixer. I'm like, no, nah, I'm alright. Um, well, actually, matter of fact, I did test them out, but I didn't. It didn't really um, came out the way it was supposed to be. And so, like, I got it on the channel three and four on the mixer. On the deck, on the side, you're gonna you're gonna click on three and four channel two. 
and one and two. And I was trying to do it, um, you know, three and four, but this and that, but um, it was I'll keep going to the one and two or something wrong with it, the sound. And on the sound card, you're gonna click on ASIO. I'm like, I don't need no two two cards, I don't need 4.0, 4.1. And um, I don't need any any other of that. Oh, mono separated. Okay, so I'll get, so you gotta click on ASIO or ASIO or whatever it calls. Then you gotta click on apply. You're gonna click on apply and then you're gonna click OK. So this is the way. Um, so you can control your DB2 and the Virgil DJ. See, I'm like, let me. Let me try to search for a song. I'm like, let me try to click on one of the folders. Um, okay. See, that's what I hate about this computer. It's always keep freezing up. I don't do uh, the Dell voice that I used to have. To it was all. That's what I like about XP. It's actually Windows 7. I don't even like it at all. I'm like, it's all tripping, it's all freezing up. I'm like, nah, I, I'm not gonna take this computer to gigs. Either I am, you have fix it, if not, oh well. It's actually just gonna stay home. So you're just gonna click on the one song. And, okay. See, on the little button right here in the middle, it's the yeah uh, um it's actually to control it. I'm like as you can see, I'm actually going up and down. So that actually is the one end right there. So let me click on. Uh, fuck it. Let me click on that one and select it. Select it. Select it. I'm gonna select on the two deck one. So it's actually it's gonna be over on this side on the left. And on the second one uh should which one should I get? Uh mm, I don't know about that one though. Never heard about it probably. I just got so many songs I don't even remember. Okay, so on the pro I brought the problem on the headphones on the DP2. I can't hear the cue and everything from this mixer. I'm probably gonna get a call, you know, get one of those cables like kind of like this type of cables. You know, I got two ends actually, all males. But I'm thinking about to get one of those, one of these, male and female, so I can connect behind the mixer. And probably I'm just gonna get like a little metal whatever and put it right here so I could just cut um pass the cable from here through here and so I could hear all the cue and the mixing how to fit it out from here because it doesn't let me over here it's all going in two and then two songs um at the same time I'm like nah so instead of messing around with the Rashley while I'm mixing on the B2 I could just turn it up pretty much on the halfway over here and like you know it has its own little mixture in case I need to boost it up I could just boost it up from here over here because DP2 is actually connected to the mixer and the mixer is going straight to the to the speakers so yeah um, I just need to get another cable like that or either probably I have it somewhere else. but uh, for the meantime I just gonna do that because I was thinking about to get the headphones and try to connect it over here. I'm like, no, nah, that's really not. I just rather get a little cable from, from here and stick it out from here. I was thinking about to put it over here on the top. I'm like, no, nah, it doesn't. It won't look good. I'd rather put it over here. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, okay, you're going to play. You're going to click on play on the virtual DJ. So, there you go. And the samples actually they work pretty good too. I'm like, see, there's sample one. Okay.
Okay, on the see on save two, it's like you go in on to the record record. I mean, and on the sampler, it's gonna go straight to the sampler. You know, you can just record your own, or you can use the one actually, the one that has on Virgil DJ. I'm pretty much gonna record them and save them up over here. So yeah, and. So it has, see on this one right here it has video mixing and actually has scratch and actually I like that one though better than the mixer one. I might use this one more in the video uh, like I can't control the video from the DP2 I'm trying to get the VM S4 probably later on but uh, for the meantime it's all good and um, okay instead of using the volume from over here I could just control it from here and there here's the master and this and that and fade and the bass and whatever and on track they go on the deck too I could just play I could just press play and as you can see as it is playing I just turn in uh, turn it right up so here we go and actually it's the same thing with the samplers. I don't even care. Let's see. So yeah. Oh. So here's the sampler one. On the on the side one and the deck one, it's actually the same thing. The horn and a little ox so yeah so this is the way I connect it the virtual they just go to config and to configuration and yeah so just click on outputs in our uh, external mixer channel it's actually it's gonna be in the second one alright don't click on the first click on the three and four and channel one and two the deck two one and two and the sound card they just click on Asio and uh, on the side it's gonna say well you don't have a lot of options so you can just click on uh, American DJ so yeah so this is the way I hook it up as you can see and look I just I could just turn it off from here So yeah, in case in case you got any questions you want to ask me, I'm like I'm, I could try to answer answer them all of them. I'm trying to. If not, there's gonna be a couple other people looking at the video and they might answer your, that question for you and help you out on how to connect it or whatever. So yeah. So this is the way I connect the deeper two on the Virgil DJ. Works good. Because I had the PC, you know, the one actually the top software it comes with. Um, I, I didn't like it because I had a little problem with the echo and I had a little problem on the flanger. And to be honest, I didn't, actually I don't recommend this, this one actually stop. Oh well. Oh, uh -huh. so yeah. So this is the way you, you connect it, and, and you know what? Oh, I should have been turned off. That's why. See, it has a little, you know, the effects and everything. The flanger, the flipping double. So it's all, it's all, it works good. I'm like. I'm using the other one as well. So yeah, all right. I did make the video so long. Actually, it's the first time I ever made this video this long. I'm um, like, damn, that was actually too too much. But uh, yeah, that's the way I hook it up. The DP2 on the Virtual DJ Pro 7. So yeah, all right. Let me try to pull all the songs at the same time.
and I'm out.